President Moon Jae-in has expressed his hopes to work much more closely with Japan on a number of key issues. Sitting down with a special envoy from Japan on Monday, the president said the two sides should coordinate their North Korea policies. He also stressed that Seoul and Tokyo need to go back to the drawing board on a widely detested 2015 agreement on Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. Hwan Jang-ho reports. After President Moon Jae-in sent a special envoy and a lawmaker to Tokyo last month, this time it was Seoul's turn to play host to a special envoy. Toshihiro Nikai, a Japanese lawmaker and secretary general of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, met with the South Korean leader on Monday. <laughs> I fully agree with those sentiments. I believe politicians from both sides need to work together for the development of South Korea and Japan. During the meeting, the envoy presented President Moon with a handwritten letter by Japanese Prime Minister Abe, where he stressed the need for continued pressure and sanctions on North Korea. President Moon agreed with this assessment, adding that both South Korea and Japan, along with the U.S., must work closely together to bring back the regime to the discussion table and work towards the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. However, Moon took Abe to task on a different issue. President Moon responded to the issue of the 2015 Comfort Women deal in Prime Minister Abe's letter, explaining that the honest truth was that the South Korean public does not accept it. Moreover, the surviving victims themselves do not agree with the deal. Moon asked Nikai to relay the message to Abe that more time and discussion were needed to resolve the thorny issue, while at the same time make efforts to not let it interfere with other bilateral matters that require mutual cooperation. The South Korean president also said he looks forward to meeting his Japanese counterpart next month at the G20 summit in Hamburg and that he hoped to hold a bilateral summit in the near future. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.